I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross. I know it was the blood for me. Oh yes, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross. I know it was the blood for me. They whipped him all night long. They whipped him all night long. They whipped him all night long for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross. I know it was the blood for me. Oh yes, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross. I know it was the blood for me. Oh yes, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross. I know it was the blood for me. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Tamika. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Pope. Good morning, Anointed to Praise. Good morning, Tiance. Good morning, Sister Pinckney. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Jewel. God bless you. Good morning, Monica. God bless you. Good morning, Elder, Elder Sister Dorset. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Jackson. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. Sister Donaldson, praise God for you. Good morning. Missionary Davis, God bless you, and Deacon Davis, good morning, Brother Paul, praise Jesus, God bless you, sir, good morning, Mother Wilkins, God bless you, and Deacon Wilkins, good morning, Bishop and Mother Joseph, God bless you, and your family, and all the saints in Trinidad, Tobago, good morning, God bless you, Pastor and Lady Williams, your family, and all the saints at um, United Refuge, God bless you. God bless you. Duchess, good morning to you. Brother Aaron and the family, God bless you. Bailey, good morning to you. Good morning. Sister Cynthia, God bless you. Good morning. Minister Scott, God bless you, sir. Good morning. Elder Mott, God bless you. And Sister Mott, good morning. Deacon Davis, God bless you. Mother Barbara and the family, Good morning, Elder and Sister Adams. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Clark. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Stokes. God bless you and your families. Good morning, Sister Petla. Good morning, Mother Walker. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Frederick. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Walker. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Graves. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Roberts. God bless you. Good morning, Lydia. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you, Brother Perry and the family. Good morning, Mother Fears. God bless you, Pastor Fears, your family and greater Ecclesia. God bless you, Sister Hollis. Good morning, Elder Perry. God bless you, Sister Sophia and the family. God bless you, Sister Wiggins, Brother Wiggins and the family. Good morning, Minister and Sister Dawes. God bless you. God bless you. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. And welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to spend a few moments with you with a biblical meditation and in prayer for more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know and I am witnessing the healing the delivering power the saving power the grace of God being manifested in the lives of people God is moving God is healing God is answering prayers and God is blessing 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 the lives of people and I am so excited because I know that God is real. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on 
Facebook, you can place it right into the chat, or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. For those who are on Instagram, you can place it right there in the chat, or you can direct message Pastor RJD. And to everybody on the conference call, and I thank God for all of our conference call listeners, everybody on YouTube, or anybody can text in your prayer request, and that number is 336 336- Five six seven five three five eight. Again, the number to text your request is three three six five six seven five three five eight. You can text your prayer request. We're adding them to the prayer list. We're praying over them, and we are believing God with you for great things, great things to happen in your lives and the lives of those that you love. We have been celebrating this Holy Week all of this week as we remember, hallelujah, the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. And on Sunday, we're going to celebrate the living resurrection of our living God and Savior. Come on, go with me now to the word of God. You'll find us today once again in the book of Psalms, Psalm 124, Psalm 124. And let's begin reading at verse number one. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The streams had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. I just want to use for a thought this morning, if it had not been the Lord, if it had not been the Lord. You know, most of us regularly celebrate the things that the Lord has done. We celebrate life. We celebrate health. We celebrate strength. We celebrate his grace, salvation in our lives. We celebrate the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit that works in us. We celebrate so many things. But I think it's sometimes necessary that we reflect on what might have been, what could have been, what could have taken place had the Lord not been with us. If we had been ignored somehow by God, somehow, um, taken for granted, somehow cast aside. If God had not been God to us, what if Jesus had not died for us? What if um, he simply ignored the crying fate of humanity? What if he simply said, let man be lost? They won't obey. They won't listen. They won't honor my word. Let them just be lost. What if, what if when you called upon the Lord, for some of you, 50, 60, um, 30, 20, two years ago, and what if God ignored you? What if God simply said, you know what, I'm not even going to worry about humanity. What if God had not done that? That is what the psalmist shares In this psalm, I I told you these are the psalms of degrees, and they sang them as they went from um, their homes to Jerusalem, to the tabernacle, to worship. And this one was written by David. And David says, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, if he had not come to our rescue, or if he had not, or if um, no one, if he had not shown up for us, if he had not manifested himself, if he had not revealed himself, if the Lord had not been there. And I believe he's trying to say, if it was anybody else but the Lord, if the Lord hadn't shown up, 
if God had not revealed himself in the midst of our distress, in the midst of our troubles. Because remember, these cele these Psalms of Degrees were sung as they were going to the celebration, either the, the Feast of Tabernacles, which celebrated their time in the wilderness, the Feast of Pentecost, which celebrated the harvest, or the Passover, which celebrated their deliverance. If the Lord had not shown up for them, what would have happened to Israel? And if you think about it for yourself, if Jesus had not died, if Jesus had not come and offered himself as the sacrifice for our sins, what would have happened to us? Oh, my God. It's, it's, it's a frightening thought when you think about it. If it had not been the Lord, if it had been anything else, anybody else, if God himself had not come to our rescue, what would we have done? How could we have lived? How could we have survived? How could we have made it if it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us, when people came at us, when people came for our destruction, when people came to destroy our lives, our minds, our families, our sanity, if the Lord hadn't been there? My God, when you think about it, it's staggering. When you were in that emergency room and they thought you were going to die and the Lord showed up to to heal you. What if he had not shown up? What if he had allowed you to die? What if he had not been with you in that car when it veered off the highway? What if he had not been with you when people threatened your existence and threatened your livelihood and threatened what would happen to you? What if God had not been there? If the Lord had not been there, David tells it very clearly in verse number three, then they had swallowed us up quick. Oh, my God, you would have been destroyed by the enemy if the Lord had not shown himself, revealed himself, expressed himself in your existence. The enemy would surely have destroyed you in the midst of everything that was going on. If the Lord had not been there for us, I'm so grateful that he was just there, saints. Hallelujah. I'm just so grateful that he did not remove himself or take himself away, but he has always been there. If it had not been for the Lord, what would we have done? What could we have done? He says we would have been swallowed up when their wrath was kindled against us, when people came for our destruction, when people came to, oh God, end our lives, when people came to destroy us, but yet the Lord was there with us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. I think he's re referring to the Red Sea and the Jordan, both of which God opened up so that Israel could pass through. But if the Lord hadn't been there, they would have never survived. They wouldn't have gotten through the Red Sea. They would not have gotten through the Jordan. Hardly Hallelujah. But the Lord was there. Saints, I'm so grateful to God. He shot that God has always been there. Every season of my life, even when I didn't serve him, even when I didn't honor him, he was there there. He did not take himself away. He did not walk away. Even when I said in my mind, in my haste, in my pride, Lord, I don't want you. I don't need you. Yet he remained there. He remained faithful to us. He remained there to give us himself to die on that cross. Oh God, if he had not been the sacrifice, surely my soul would have been lost. But look at what it says in verse number six. Blessed be the Lord who have not given us as prey to their teeth. The Lord stepped in. The enemy was coming to devour us. The enemy was coming to destroy us. The enemy was coming to utterly take us away. They had plans to eat us. My God, the same way you eat a piece of chicken or the same way you eat beef, they were coming to eat us alive, to consume us with their anger, to consume us with their wrath, to consume us with their hatred. They were coming for us, but the Lord stepped in. I need you to get this picture that between you and the enemy has stood God. Between you and your sin has stood Jesus Christ. Between you and God's judgment and God's wrath has stood the Lord. That the wrath of God should have overwhelmed us and consumed us, but God has stepped between us. Oh, hallelujah. Wouldn't let what should have happened, what could have happened take place. Wouldn't let. My God, I think about all the things that could have been 
been tragic in my life, all the things that could have been devastating to my life, but yet the Lord has been there. Everything that could have happened, every disaster that could have taken place, everything that could have destroyed me, could have destroyed you, but God put himself between us. And the greatest thing was judgment. Judgment should have fallen upon us. Judgment should have come upon us because we're all born in sin, shaped in iniquity. We've all committed sins. But between us and judgment is the cross. Hallelujah. Between us and judgment is grace. Between us and judgment is the sheer mercy of God. Jesus taking on himself our sins. Jesus taking on himself our iniquities. Jesus taking on himself, hallelujah, our, hallelujah, inadequacies and dying in our place. That's what happened at Calvary. Jesus died in your place. It should have been me on that cross. It should have been you on that cross. And if he hadn't been there, that would have been our fate and hell would have been our portion. But I'm thanking God this morning that he stood between us. Oh, my God, hung up, somebody said, for our hangups, hung up, wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Jesus taking our place wouldn't let, hallelujah, my sin destroy me, wouldn't let my transgressions destroy me, wouldn't let my iniquity destroy me and my testimony is David's testimony in verse 7. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. Our soul is escaped. Jesus broke the snare. Jesus broke the chains. Jesus broke the prison. That's why he went to hell. Oh God, and he broke hell. He opened up hell so that the Old Testament saints could get out and so that you and I don't have to go because Jesus went and destroyed ramshack. I used to hear Bishop Dobbins say ramshack hell so that we could rise. Hallelujah. On that third day morning, he rose and when he rose, he conquered sin and he conquered the penalty of sin, which was death and destruction. I'm so grateful today that the Lord is has been on my side. The Lord has been on my side. Didn't deserve it, unworthy of it, but the Lord has been on my side. He says the snare is broken and we are escaped. We sung a song in the old church years ago that the devil thought he had me, but I got away. Hallelujah. Anybody remember that song? The devil thought he had me, but I got away. He thought I was going to die. He thought I was going to hell. He thought I was going to be destroyed, but thank God that we've escaped saints. We've escaped by the power of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody ought to be rejoicing on this morning that we escaped. The Lord loved us enough so that we could be saved. And I'm celebrating and I'm grateful because verse eight, our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God has given us help today. I didn't have to die. I didn't have to be lost. And I'm thanking God this morning on this good Friday morning that God allowed us to escape. Hallelujah. You ought to be celebrating the fact that God allowed you to escape, to get out of everything, every trap that was laid for you, every trap that was prepared for you. In fact, the Bible says hell enlarged itself and it enlarged itself in preparation for your coming. It enlarged itself because they said, you know what? Davis is coming. So we got to make room for Davis in hell. But I preached a sermon years ago that, hallelujah, Satan made a reservation for me in hell. But my God, canceled the reservation. I'm so glad I've escaped. I'm so glad I'm saved. I'm so glad I'm delivered by the power of the blood. Jesus did all of this. Hallelujah. And he did all of this for us. So here we are today celebrating his sacrifice. Hallelujah. If it had not been for the Lord, if it had not been for the Lord, if the Lord hadn't loved me enough to die for me, to be wounded for me, Hallelujah, to bleed for me, my God, to suffer for me and to die for me. But I'm thanking God that he has broken the snare and we have escaped. Somebody ought to be celebrating. 
hallelujah, getting away. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to celebrate the escape that God has created in your life. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you and thank God for the word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. My gracious God, I love you. I thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your grace, your love, and your kindness. Lord, you've been so good to us that all we can say is thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for health. Thank you for strength. Thank you for salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for your love. Your love has been extended to us, and God, we are grateful that you have loved us, my God, out of our sin. Loved us, oh God, through the precious sacrifice at Calvary. Loved us, God, for dying on our behalf, taking on our transgression so that we would have the opportunity to escape the wrath, oh my God, that should have come upon us. Jesus, I'm grateful today, Lord God, for last night's rest and for you waking us this morning. And Lord, we're in our right minds and we were able to get up and get prepared and join this great cadre of believers. My God, from all over the world, I thank you today for the morning prayer family. I thank you, God, for everyone, whether we've come by Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or the conference call. However we've come, we're here in this prayer room today and we are thanking you. Oh God, for the power to have escaped the wrath that should have come upon us. Lord, I'm thankful for everybody on this prayer line, and I want you to bless this prayer room right now. Flood this place, my God, with your glory, with your power, with your presence. My God, and minister to every heart and mind in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're praying, my God, for every request that has been offered. Lord, whether it's come in the chat by text or messenger, email, however it's been sent, Lord, we are thanking you for these miracles in advance because, God, you're going to bless right now. You're going to touch right now. You're going to deliver right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We're praying today. We're praying for the Welch and Robertson and Florney. Flornery families. God, we're praying, my God, that you would touch and deliver in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're praying, God, hallelujah. We're praying, hallelujah, for Bishop and Mother Joseph, Bishop and Lady Alde. We're praying for Bishop and Mother Wright, Bishop, hallelujah, and Lady Wilkins, Bishop and Mother Darby, Bishop and Mother Smith today. We're lifting up Bishop Reed. We're praying for Bishop and Lady Davenport, Bishop Clifton Staten. We're praying for Apostle, hallelujah, and Mother Jackson today. We're praying for a Apostle and Lady May. We're praying for Apostle and Lady Keith today. We're praying for Apostle and Lady Barry. We're praying for Apostle and Lady Parsons today. We're praying for Apostle and Mother Clark. We're praying for Missionary Amynthia Hodges today, for the Slade family, the Herbin family, the McLaughlin family. We're praying, my God, for Miracle Destiny. We're praying for Pastor Antonio Bradley. We're praying, my God, for the St. Mark's Church of Christ, Disciples of Christ Church in Everett, North Carolina. We're praying for for the Orangeburg School, for Tyreek, for Deborah Codrington, for Jordan. We're lifting up the homeless today. We're praying for the Perkins family. The Robinson family, God, the McDuffie family, the Taylor family. God, we're praying for Dr. Jennifer. With Carol Johnson today. We're praying for Irvin. God, send your deliverance. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. We're praying for Mother Pittman today. We're praying for Stacy and Trayvon. We're praying for Sister Sheila Reed. We're praying for William Graves Jr. For Danita. We're praying for Carl Hooks today. We're praying for those that will be traveling to the International Seminar and the International Congress. And we're praying for these meetings, God, that you would be in the midst. My God, working miracles, delivering, God, setting 
bring us on one accord so that we can carry out the assignments given to us. We're praying for Jeremy. We're praying for Demetrius, for the Crowder family, for Buddy Winston. We're praying for the Willis and Winston families. We're praying for miracle. God, I'm praying for the children of the saints today. My God, so many in trouble, so many. Oh God, out of the ark of safety, so many, my God, perplexed and delusion. But God, I'm praying that you would deliver today. My God, in the name of Jesus, remember Adrian, remember J God, remember them in a powerful way. Remember my God, we're praying for a move of God on resurrection Sunday. God, that you would be in every one of our churches in such a profound way that souls just come. Oh, Shatana Masiataye to be saved. We're praying, my God, for brother and sister Hedrick. We're praying for Darius Reed. We're praying for those, my God, the families impacted by the collapse of that bridge. Oh God, the key bridge in Baltimore. We're praying for Lisa Kinchin. We're praying for Sister Seneca Austin. I'm praying for Rebecca Cummings today, for Gwendolyn Brown, for Cornell Perkins. I'm praying for Cammie. I'm praying for the Gibson family. Lord, I'm praying, oh God, that you would stretch out your hand of deliverance today in the name of Jesus Christ. God, save to the utmost. Oh, Shanana Masiataye, save and deliver God. Oh God, let them come to repentance. Let them know that you've made a way of escape for them. Oh God, and let them be born of the water and of the spirit. I'm praying for the backslider, my God, that you would break the yoke and break the chains and cause them to return to fellowship with you. I'm praying for the broken, the burdened, the downcast, the depressed. My God, that you would step in and deliver in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're praying, we're praying because we believe you right now. We're praying, my God, for the healing of the sick everywhere. Everywhere, God, somebody is suffering in their body, but we're believing you right now for healing today. We're praying for John Morris. We're praying for Teresa Hope. We're praying for Al Hendricks, for Roger, for Mother Lula Jenkins today. We're praying for Aunt Lisa. We're praying for Jean Dorn. We're praying for Pastor Kevin Kinchin. We're praying for Sister Gertrude Austin, for Mother, oh God, Grievous today. We're praying for Pastor Sylvester and Lady Simone Williams. We're praying for Toya's husband this morning. I'm praying for Daryl. My God, that you would touch in the name of Jesus Christ. We're praying, my God, for hallelujah, Maya Watson. We're praying for John Morris, for Lois Garrett, for Maurice Lewis, for Mary Cotton, for Marilyn Miller, for Carolyn B., for Carolyn Thornton, for Tanae Clark, for Janelle Harrell Hutchinson, for Denise McLean. We're praying for Anthony Jackson today. We're praying for Seymour and Doris Staten. We're praying for Margette Golden this morning. We're praying for Alfred Briscoe. We're praying for Soretta Corden. We're praying for Sister Jackie Poole. We're praying for Marquita Jones today, for Brenda Parker's husband. We're praying, my God, for Bruce. We're praying for missionary Emma Mott. We're praying for Leroy, for Mike, for Orita, for Cheryl, for Diana, for Kamar. God, remember Minister Perkins today. Remember, my God, Daniel and Xavier. Remember Deacon Hallelujah Adams this morning. Remember Deacon and Mother Wilson. Remember Deacon and Sister Harrison today. My God, I'm praying today that you remember, oh God, Phil Solomon. Remember Elder Toll and Elder Dokes today. Remember, my God, Mother Virgie DuBose, Mother Mary Williams. Remember Mother Lloyd, Mother Meadows today. Mother Perry, God, stretch out your healing hand to Missionary Janet Davis, Missionary Joyce Domingo, Missionary Gail Hardy. God, remember, my God, Missionary Marlene Roseman, Missionary Jesse Brisbane. God, remember Missionary Hodges. Remember, my God, Mother Elizabeth Wilson today. Brother Carl, remember Deacon James Grant. Remember, hallelujah, Philip today. God, I'm praying today for healing for Pastor and Lady Winston, Bishop and Mother D, Apostle and Lady Keith today. Oh God, Apostle Mario Davis. God, I'm praying for healing in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember them. God, remember Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard. Remember Mother Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins, Lady Andrea Maxwell, Mother Close today. I'm praying for Sister Shakaya Polk. I'm praying for Cynthia Jackson Perry this morning for your healing virtue to be upon her. I'm praying, my God, that you remember everybody, everybody suffering in their bodies today. Remember, my God, in your precious name, hallelujah, Bishop Richard Phillips, Bishop Richard Johnson. Remember Mother Carol Coleman, Bishop Clonell Williams, Bishop Irving Taylor, Bishop Gregory Wilder, Bishop William Jenkins, Bishop Johnny Davis, Bishop David Smith, Bishop Larry Arnold today. In the name of Jesus, remember Lady J this morning. Remember Lady Barbara Vincent, Lady Deborah Carter, Lady Kathy Forehand, Lady Pamela Davenport. God, I'm 
praying today that you remember my God, Apostle Herbert Edwards, Apostle Leroy Joseph, Apostle Charles Williams. Remember my God, Apostle, hallelujah, Sylvester Norwood. I pray today for your healing virtue upon Brother Wiggins, Brother and Mother Sherrod, Mother Garland today, Dr. Haywood, Sister Haywood, Dr. Haywood's mother, Mother Jill and Mother Pride today. I'm praying, God, that you would remember Elder and Mother Murray, Elder and Mother Dugan, Brother and Mother Chambers today. Remember Mother Carter, Mother Moorhead, Lady Staten today. I pray, my God, for Minister Carr in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, that you remember, oh God, hallelujah, Elder Tyson and Elder Smith today. Lord, I'm praying, oh God, for your healing virtue. My God, in the name of Jesus, to be upon Mother Foster Henry J., Brother Cliff. Lord, I want you to remember Mother Tanaj, Brother Home, and Missionary Simmons today. Remember Cynthia, Catherine, and Duchess. I pray today for healing upon Marlette, upon Maurice. God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for healing right now upon Dennis and Tony and Kimberly. I pray for Cynthia today in the name of Jesus. Mother Jackson, Apostle Moultrie today. God, I pray for everybody in a hospital, everybody in a nursing home, a rehab center, everybody in hospice, God, because you remain the healer there in the name of Jesus Christ. God, we pray for the grieving today. God, people who have lost loved ones, we pray for the Bryant family. We pray for Sister Janelle Rousen and her family. We pray for Minister Jamie Carr and his family. We pray for the Roger, for Roger's family. We pray, my God, that you remember Sister Jewel Taylor and her family. God, remember Pastor Rivas. Remember the Wright family. Remember Mother Sally Carr today. Remember everybody everywhere that's grieving a loss. God, touch them. God, look on the families in Baltimore. Look on the Hubbard and Taylor families. Look on Kim Sermon and family. Callie Gardner and family. The Brown family. Oh, God, remember, my God, the family of Deacon Brown. And remember the Greater Refuge Temple family of D.C., my God, where he served. Remember the Bryant family. God, remember the Hooper family, the Houston family, the Ballard family, the Mendoza family. Remember Sharon Johnson and family, the Mabra family, Sheena Barr's family, the Rouse family, the Harper family, the Langs family, the Gentry family, the Brooks family, the Hicks family, the Haynes Moore family, the Corley family, the Sermon family. Remember Rosemary Edwards, the Rose family, the Emmanuel family, the Rousen family. God, look on Mother Walker. And Mother Moya today, look on Jaleesa and Jackie today. Look on, my God, Takesha. Look on, hallelujah, Whitney and Phoenicia this morning. Look on Jerry today, God, and their families. I pray for Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric, Mother Close and the family. I pray, God, that you remember, my God, Dr. Carter and the family, Apostle Phil, Shekinah and the family. Look on the Quarles family. Look on Mother Harrell and the family, Mother Grant and the family. Look on the Groover family, the Kramer family, the Hargreaves family, the Blunt family, God, the Bynums, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family, the Meadows family, the Moyer family, the Perkins family. I pray for the Dockery family, Sister Pam, her mom, and her sisters. I pray, God, that you remember Anita and the Brian Hopkins family, Margie and the McLean, Melvin, and Street families. God, remember the Ransom family, the Johnson family, the Jackson family. God, remember the Newkirk family, the Ned family, the Green family. I pray for the Nunn family, the Umstead family. I pray for Sister to Brenda, my God, and the Alan McNeely family. God, I pray for hallelujah. Oh God, I pray today that you remember Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family, Trell and Ryan and the Alan Williams family, Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family. I pray for the Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdies, the Sneeds, the Washington Fields family, the Winninghams, the Bankses, the Wades, my God, the Middletons, the Taylors. Look on the Felix family, the Zapata family, the Mannix, the Boodrums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins. God, look on the Briggs family, the Taylors, the Phillips, the Josephs. I pray for the Davises today, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayes, the Moors. God, remember the Austins, the Harbisons, the Adams, and the Austin families. God, every grieving widow, every grieving widower, every child, parent, sibling, loved one. God, give comfort, grace, and peace now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for the body of Christ today. Every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, every bishop and elder, every first lady, all the pastor's children, mothers and missionaries, 
ministers and deacons. I pray for the young people of the church, God. I pray for musicians, singers, and psalmists. Lord, cover the church, God. Be on the side of the church. My God, protect us. Lord God, don't let the enemy ensnare us, but keep us free, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, God, that you remember, my God, first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. I pray, God, that you look on school employees and students everywhere. I pray that you remember everybody that works, cover them and protect them. Everybody that needs a job, God, make provision for the job in the name of Jesus. And Lord, everybody on a fixed income, God, make the ends meet. God, make the provision and make a way. Look on the homeless today in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I pray that you look on this troubled world. Lord, every time we turn on the news, we see nothing but trouble around the globe, nothing but unrest, nothing but violence, nothing but anger. But Lord, you are the bomb in Gilead. So God, heal the land. Heal the land, my God, from sin and unrighteousness. Heal the land from hatred, jealousy, and violence. Heal the land from injustice. Heal the land from racism and sexism. And let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God, we need you. We need you. We cannot make it without you. Cover us, keep us, protect us, and we will give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on and join me right now in giving God praise. Everybody on this line, give God the glory, give God the honor. Hallelujah. Celebrate God for his goodness. Celebrate God for his grace. Hallelujah. Thank God for everything that he has done. This is my declaration for today. Thank God we escaped. Hallelujah. I'm thanking God that I escaped what was laid for me the trap that the enemy laid that would destroy me, send me to the lake of fire. I'm so glad today that Jesus Christ has broken that chain, broken that snare. Hallelujah. I'm grateful this morning. I am grateful this morning that I escaped. Hallelujah. Yeah, I sang it. I said it earlier. The devil thought he had me, but I thank God I got away. He created situations that were designed for nothing less than my total destruction, but I'm thankful Thanking God through the precious blood of Jesus, we have escaped. Hallelujah, we have escaped. And I'm celebrating God's goodness this morning. Thank God for all of you, hallelujah, being with us in prayer. Thank God, hallelujah. I'm praying that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your day is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This press service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those that join us by conference call. Tonight, we're having a special service at Refuge Temple. Be prayer begins at 730. Worship begins at 8 o'clock. And our own Elder Ernest Stokes, friend and brother, will be with us preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And if you can get to Maine, Main Street tonight. Get to Main Street for that service. I believe it'll be also be available online, all right? But be in that service because I know God is going to bless you in a wonderful, wonderful way. Don't forget to join us on Resurrection Sunday. Hallelujah. If you can get to 152 North Main Street, be with us as we celebrate the living Savior and his grace in our lives. Hallelujah. You can also stay connected through our podcast, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud, and Spotify. All of this available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I want to thank everybody that sees and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do. And we thank God for them and we thank God for you. And if you desire to be a blessing, you can mail a gift to Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. That's P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can can also give online. Our website is www.refugetemple in as in North C as in Carolina. Com, refuge temple nc.com and you can give on the donate page you can also give through the givelify app just type refuge temple burlington you'll see a picture of the church to know that you're in the right place and you can make your gift there or if you have cash app our cash app is dollar sign capital o n e 
capital R-E-F-U-G-E, one refuge, one word, and you can make your gift there. Hallelujah. You'll see a picture of the logo of the church as you make your gift. And we thank you for your giving, but we thank you most of all for being connected with this morning prayer family, because God is blessing people all over the world. We get, hallelujah, input from Kenya, from India, from other parts of Africa, all over the world, people who are watching prayer because we are praying together, not me. We are praying together and the Lord is blessing because we're praying. So keep coming and keep sharing. And as you pray, please pray for me. Pray for Lady Davis. Pray for our children. Pray for my father. Pray for my sisters, my in-laws, our nieces, our nephews, our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple that God will continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another that the grace of God might be extended in our lives. The Lord keep you free because he's the reason why you have escaped. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom. Shalom.